Okay, another quick vid. These seem to be daily at the moment, but I've um, been doing a bit more work. I've set up um, this example here. Uh, if we mox, uh, we see this uh, LED uh, thing light up, and that's set up uh, in this way. So, text overlay on air there. And then a LED indicator underneath it with this variable percentage mox percent equals mox. If it's true, it'll turn red and false, it'll turn black or grey. So that's how that one works. And I've also got another one that's tied into this um, QSO timer down here, and I've got it set for five seconds right now. And you can see that it's pulsing away there. And that's set up like this. Uh, another text overlay with ident that only shows on transmit. And um, the LED that's uh, behind it that pulses. Uh, it looks at the QSO time and if it's greater than 5, 5 seconds, and we're transmitting then um, it pulsates, so that's how that uh, works. I've also been implementing uh, this <laughs> so we can use the mouse wheel to uh, change frequency and I can un um, unlock mine so I can freely spin it and it's uh, quite nice how fast that actually works and you can press keys as well so if you hover over one of those you can just press 2 or 8 and it will go uh, straight uh, straight to them so yeah and you can use left to increment and right click to decrement so that's the initial stage of that um, I'm going to be adding so you can click on 20 meter band this will change to a grid with a timeout and you'll have uh, buttons that you can press to choose bands. Uh, USB do the same, give you your modes and um, you'll be able to click this TX thing and the filter. Uh, give you the filters when you click that as well and TX will take you to that and split as well. Uh, we'll turn that on so that's to come. Uh, so uh, work is continuing. <laughs> Alright, cheers.